Have you inherited an old coin collection or came across some old silver American coins? Well, we're going to show you what can give old silver barber dimes a lot of value. So let's just hop right into it and focus on the 1901 silver dime. This 10 cent coin here sold for over $11 thousand dollars at auction now i think you can see why this error is super extreme it kind of speaks for itself the coin has been double struck and that design from the reverse is flipped over and you'll see the obverse design there on the reverse as well so that's pretty extreme graded by ngc over 11 grand now this next coin sold for over $1,000, actually over $1,100 to be exact. So this coin is a 1901 silver barber dime that is in phenomenal condition for a coin like this. The coin is graded by PCGS at a mint state 66. So to have this coin at this grade is rare. So it really depends on each individual coin uh, when it comes to grading and prices and things like that. So over $1,100 for that coin. But if we compare it to the same exact dated coin in much worse condition, this is also a 1901 Barber Dime, 90% silver coin here, but it only sold for $30 as opposed to $1,100. Why? Because it's graded at an XF40, it's in worse condition. You know, a Mint State 66 grade is much different than an XF40 grade. So keep that in mind, grade is extremely important, which is the condition. Now in 1901, we also have the O Mint Mark. So this is a New Orleans minted Barber Dime from 1901. You'll see that O Mint Mark there at the bottom of the coin on the reverse. This coin ended up selling for nearly $4,000 at auction. It is graded at a 66 once again by PCGS. Now, if we compare that to a 1901 O Mint Mark that is at an XF40 grade, probably what most of our coins look like, right? This coin only sold for $61 at auction. But again, you see that O Mint Mark, uh, it's the same coin, just way different grades or conditions. So $61 versus, you know, $4,000, obviously a big difference. And for the O Mint Mark, you actually want to look with your coin microscopes and spec these coins very closely. Look at the O mint mark and look for the O over the inverted O. So as we zoom in there on that image, you can see that O is over the inverted O mint mark. So that is something that can give your coin a lot of extra value as well. This coin graded by PCGS ended up selling for over $3,000. Moving right along to another mint error coin. So this 1901 silver dime was struck 10% off center, graded by NGC. I think, you know, off center errors kind of speak for themselves as well. Pretty uh, noticeable. You can look for this on all kinds of different coins. This dime ended up selling for nearly $1,000 at auction. Moving on to a coin that sold for over $8,000. This is the 1901 Proof Silver Barber Dime that is graded by PCGS at a Proof 67 Plus Deep Cameo. I mean, to have this coin in this condition, super rare. That's why the coin sold for over $8,000. Now, don't forget, in 1901, we also have the S Mint Mark, San Francisco minted silver barber dime. And you'll see that S Mint Mark right where we've seen the O Mint Mark. So for this coin, uh, this is a very, very high grade as well, a Mint State 67 grade by PCGS, the coin grading company. Now, this coin ended up selling for over $13,000 at auction because of that high grade. Again, if you compare it to a very low graded example of the 1901 S Barber Dime, this coin only sold for a little over 30 bucks. So graded by NGC there at a three. I mean, that's almost as low as you can get on the coin grading scale, right? A one is the low as you can get. You go from one to 70 being the best, this is at a three. So probably what, again, most of our coins look like is uh, this coin here, so 30 bucks for that one. So always pay attention to your coins. If you guys inherit coin collections or maybe purchase coin collections and you're going through it and you find stuff, you always wanna look for those errors, especially the close-up ones on the mint marks and the lettering and the date on modern coins as well. So if you wanna learn more about modern coins, feel free to check out the rest of the coin videos here on the channel. Hey guys, everyone's asking how they can get my free coin book. Well, here's how you do it. You hit the link in the comments. It takes you over here to Whatnot. You'll see my 
my whatnot page, got 5,000 followers over there. You click on shop right here on the left side and you scroll down and you can add the book. You go buy it now. You enter your payment and your address information and then you make sure that $15 credit applies for your purchase. That way you get the book for free, zero dollars. All right, now you have to use my invite link to sign up. If you guys download the app and sign up, it's not going to work. You have to use the link in the comments. That way you guys can get the book absolutely free. By the way, we are on Whatnot every Tuesday and Thursday doing free giveaways, all kinds of cool stuff over there. We're selling an enormous amount of penny rolls, wheat penny rolls, silver coins, gold coins, everything. Make sure you guys follow. You do not want to miss out on these giveaways. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.